Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint, and today we are here for another one-take bag review. That's right. What is a one-take bag review? Straight shot review. One take, just me, speaking from the heart about a bag. You're going to get a walkthrough. You're going to get exterior, interior. You're going to get two things that I love about the bag. Two things that I think could be better in an overall discussion of who might this bag be. And I'm being a little coy, aren't I? You haven't even seen the bag. Why not? Because we're looking at a $450 backpack today. $450. Okay. So, we must. And I usually don't start with price. I never start with price. I'm starting with price. Is it possible for a backpack to be worth $450? Let's talk about it. This is the Bellroy Apex. You gotta have some balls to call your bag the Apex, right? The pinnacle, the best. Wow. So they're just going for it, right? And this thing has been through multiple generations and designs, but the thing that has always been the point of the bag is to push the boundaries of form and function. That sounds so brochure-y, doesn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Let me start over. The point is to make the best damn bag ever. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make a bag that looks incredibly professional, well, until you add a Game of Thrones PVC patch to the front, uh, but incredibly professional, slick, super modern, and highly functional out of the best materials on earth. That's the whole point of this bag, right? The Apex. It's the best of the best. It's it's the whole ball of wax. It's the, the whole pinata. Is it worth $450? I think that's what we've all got to figure out in this review together. I've reviewed some other bags from Bellroy, and I've got to say, they make good stuff. They really do. I really enjoyed um, the one backpack, the Venture, was it? Anyway, I can't remember, but look it up um, on my channel. I enjoyed the heck out of that bag, and it was around $200-ish. So what would make this one worth twice as much money as that one? I don't know, but I'm excited to get into it with all of you. So, we're going to start with the exterior. What is going on with the exterior? Well, material first. This material is the same exact material that I just absolutely loved on the previous bag that I had from Bellroy. I mean, gorgeous material, just enough crinkle. It's really great, and they use it on a lot of their bags. It's like a super high-end nylon, and it feels... You got a little scratch. Listen to this. You got a little crinkle. It's really a great material. I, I think it holds up well. Looks nice. Like this bag, I didn't get it brand new. I got it used. Spoiler alert. I can't afford to buy all these bags brand new, but I want to keep bringing them to you. Um, but $450. It's not a significant material upgrade over the rest of their lineup. Okay, well, let's just keep looking. Um, you can see right away that this bag has some unique things going on shape-wise. So the construction itself um, is really, really interesting on this bag. It's going to get very interesting when we get to camera number two and we do an overhead shot because that's really when this bag shines. I can't wait to show you that. But for now, let's look at the back of the bag here. So on the back of the bag, you have two straps, um, as you always do but they're pretty thin. That's kind of a picky point that I have with Bellroy on their backpacks overall. Pretty thin straps, um, not a ton of padding, but I've got to say, surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> like I, I like a bigger strap. I like big straps and I cannot lie. Um, there's not a big stance here. I like my straps to be spaced out more. I like my straps to be beefier. And despite all that, this is a very comfortable bag. 
and I can't quite figure it out. I think it's the squishiness, because this is not super padding, but it feels like a squishy memory foam. It feels really, really nice, but not the kind of memory foam that you sink down into. It's got some stiffness and resistance to it, so it's a very interesting foam padding that they've used on the back of the bag and the straps, and the, the resulting actual user experiencing user experience wearing the bag it's really good it's a very comfortable bag and i didn't run into quite as much strap twisting with these thin straps um, on the previous bellroy backpack that i reviewed i had a problem with when i grabbed it sometimes i went to put it on and the strap was all twisted this is a very thick strap width wise but not depth wise so i didn't run into that twisting so that was good uh, easily adjustable you have a sternum strap, but it is, uh, let's say, a bit of a weird sternum strap. Very unusual. It's very tiny, and it's a little itty-bitty hook, and it hooks on to these white attachment points. You've got four of them. It's just, again, different. They're doing something really different with this bag. Is it worth $450 different? I don't know. Did I even like this? I also don't know. The leather detailing here is really beautiful. You've got a leather grab handle up top. Leather details here. Um, really good looking bag overall. I think from a looks standpoint, this is a very professional looking and very modern looking and sleek looking bag. I think it's time to go to camera number two because you have got to see the inside of this bag. It's kind of crazy. All right, let's do this thing. Here we are in camera number two. You got a little Bellroy owl right here. How about that? Here, let me show you this little hook thing while we're here. So you got a little tiny hook and you just slip it in there. I don't know. I don't know. But it's easy to take off and remove if you don't want to be using it. I don't know. All right. Um, but you can see just a very good looking bag overall. And you can see this material that they've used for the straps and for the back cushioning. And like I said, it just works. Fits nicely up against your back and feels great. All right. Let's talk pockets. We're going to start on the sides. There are two kind of hidden side pockets. YKK Aqua Guard zippers. We open this thing up. And what do we have? Well, that's a surprise. We've got a beautiful rust color. This is the rust color that Bellroy uses for their slings too. And it's just a really nice color. And it's nice to see it making an appearance in this bag's side pockets. Use these side pockets as quick access pockets. That's a really important detail, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. We'll go over to this side pocket. Same placement, same look. Slightly different features in that this one has a key leash. All right. So quick access on both sides of the bag. Again, I said that was an important detail. That is an important detail because... This is kind of a pain in the ass. So this slides like that and you can make this bag a giant bag. So it kind of functions like a roll top, extending this bag so big that it can't even fit on the camera here or fold it all the way down to kind of a normal 25-ish liter EDC size. It's time for me to pull off this and show you that there is a two by two hook and loop attachment here, which I, I mean, I gotta say, it's kind of weird as hell to me. This doesn't, like why, I don't get it. Why, why do this? Like, look at this. Is this the kind of bag where people should be doing that? I get it probably came with a Bellroy patch originally, but why? Why? This bag is gorgeous. Can you imagine if instead of that, if there was a leather detail that ran down the center here? 
with the Bellroy branding and a little owl down here. I don't know, y'all. That's a weird design decision for a bag that's about high design. So this is your little grabby to release the hook. And then this hook itself, you can see really nice leather detail underneath. I mean, the materials are beyond reproach, except this, I reproach you. This, this I reproach. Okay, and then let's see if I can get this all in one shot here. Because this is, let me move this stuff out of the way. Stuff, you gotta go. All right, what we have going on here is pretty amazing. So obviously a top-loading bag, but it's not a top-loading bag. Look at this. You got this magnet. And then zippers here that you can access even without the bag. So if this is closed, you can still access these side zippers and get into the main compartment. So even though this is a giant pain in the butt, in my opinion, you can access from both sides the main compartment and you can pull this open and open here and you have, I mean, honestly, just a kind of an insane layout here. It's just, I mean, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. What's going on inside this bag? Well, two pockets on the side, laptop pocket and tablet sleeve on the back. And then you can't see, I'm gonna show you in a second, you got some pockets right here. But basically the entire bag has pockets all the way around the side and the cavity in the middle. And the pockets are a little bit suspended from the bottom to create kind of a, a little pocket down here where just stuff can drop down in and this is all usable space. So really interesting. Feels like a little bit like a Mystery Ranch tri-zip without a tri-zip. Yeah, it's really, really neat. So on the side here, I've just got a pouch. Boom, boom. These are available now at theperfectbag.us. By the way, great way to support the channel. Then you've got the pockets over here. Nice little pull tab that I pulled too hard on over here and broke. Okay, um, so mm, it's blue leather, purplish leather. Kind of interesting detail there. Um, so nice little stretchy pocket, really nice. Bottle pocket holder, by the way, because there's no exterior bottle water, bottle water holder, water bottle holder, water bottle, water bottle holders right there. Um, this is really nice. Like this is a fantastic laptop sleeve, a 15 inch laptop or 12.9 inch. This is an 11, but 12.9 inch tablet. Really, really nice. And then let's pull this over and pull this up. And this just keeps going. I've got multiple pouches down here. It's just, I mean, look at this. Look at this usable space. So pretty, so nice. Let's flip it around here. And you can see up top, you've got a pocket and a pocket. I've got a Kindle in here. Magnets shut when not in use. Got a little pouchy right here with a cord, but it's stretchy and it's got its di dimension here. What does this say? Designed in Australia, made in the Philippines, carried all over the world, made with polyester nylon, environmentally certified leather, spot clean with a damp cloth. Yours for the road less traveled. Okay, interesting. But this is a great place, I think, for me to show off the materials. You've got these detailed little paracords with a metal pull, very nice zippers, contrasting color, grays, blacks, brown leathers, ultra stretch, rip stop white here. I mean, wow. I've got to say, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I think it's time for us to meet back at camera number one. Let's do this thing. Well, it's time. Two things that I love about the bag and two things that I think could be better. Okay, so the overall design 
of this bag is fascinating. Like, fascinating. Fascinating, though, isn't always good. So, really well-constructed bag. There's a couple of things that I really found myself appreciating and liking a lot about this bag. First off, the interior storage is absolutely dynamite. Love these side pockets. The the feel, I wish you y'all could just feel this material in here. The feel of everything actually on the inside is super premium. And I love the color choices. I love the contrast. Very cool. The pockets on the front, the pockets on the side, the laptop, the tablet, everything inside the bag feels great. Like great, great. The second thing I really found myself appreciating about this bag was something I thought I was got, I thought I was not going to like, which is the straps are actually very good. And I'm not sure what makes them so feel so much better than the other Bellroy backpacks that I've had, which I've all thought were just too thin. And I think I've come down to the addition of the leather is like a stabilizer that makes the whole thing stay in place and not twist. And when you grab it, it just feels a little bit more substantial. So the back paneling and the uh, actual harness system on this bag is super comfortable, super comfortable. Now there's two things that I don't love about this bag. The first one is um, a really simple one, which is I hate this overly complex closure. Like I understand the point of it. Like I, I promise I'm not dumb. I understand the point of it. So we've got, uh, these little attachments here, it expands the storage, etc. It's just overkill. It's too much. I would have liked the bag better if it had been a half zip instead. And I think you still could have gone super premium without that being, you know, a giant problem. So don't enjoy the little clippy and I don't enjoy the G hook and I don't enjoy how difficult it is to access the main compartment of the bag. The second piece that I don't like quite as much about the bag is because of the design choices, I think the actual silhouette of the bag for me, let me zip it back up so I can show you. Let me get it all the way closed up in its most compact form. The silhouette of the bag, for me, ends up being ultimately not as attractive as every other bag that Bellroy makes. The construction is fascinating. I don't think... Now, the materials actually feel super premium, but so do the rest of Bellroy's bags. So this one ultimately is not about the materials being that much better than everything else Bellroy is putting out there. This one is about the unique construction. This is the apex of design that you're paying for. And so you have to decide, is this design what I want? Is this access to a bag what I want? And the answer for me is no. Um, I can think of quite a few bags that cost less money and are more usable. This does feel like a great option for somebody who has a super professional setting and a tech focused carry. And if you actually do, when I opened it up, showed you how it worked, if that fascinated you and you are into rocking something that does feel cutting edge design wise, might be a good one for you. One word just to drop it in here, like I said, there have been multiple versions of this bag over the years and multiple little colorways. I think there was a navy colored one and a black one and multiple different versions. And so if you're buying one used, which is a great way to go, by the way, because this bag does not appreciate in value, it depreciates in value. And you could probably get your hands on one of these for about $250 used in decent shape. But also, they haven't updated it in a while, and they probably will in the next year or two years. I know if you're looking for a bag right now, that doesn't do you any good, but it's probably due with an update or an upgrade, um, and they'll probably keep the price point and change some of the features. So 
I hope that review was interesting to you. This is one that I really wanted to love, but ultimately appreciate more than I love. And I hope that makes sense. I appreciate the design. I appreciate the uh, really interesting choices they made with the layout of the bag. I really dig the interior of the bag, but think it could have been accomplished without so much outside of the box funkiness. Um, okay, that's it. That's the review. Everybody, thanks as always for the support. It's time for me to cue the music and wear this bag for your enjoyment. Let's do that thing. Bye, everybody. See you next time.